Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a makeup tutorial on this look right here. This is a Halloween inspired cut crease. This is the only Halloween video that I'm doing on my channel. I don't really like Halloween. That's just why I don't really do anything Halloweenish on my channel. I just thought I would do like something like this for people who are going out and just want, want something easy to do that doesn't really like require much of a costume or anything. So, if you guys want to see how I got this look, then keep watching. Okay, for this cut crease, I'm starting out with Riff from the Urban Decay Born to Run palette, and I'm just popping this in the crease kind of sloppily. Not exactly neat because I'm going to be doing lots of blending for this look. Also, I'm sorry, some clips are closer than the other. I don't know what happened. I tried fixing it as best as I could. I apologize and I'm sorry about my intro. I look weird. I was sick when I filmed this, so I'm sorry. Next, taking the Tartlet palette, I'm taking Fashionista. You can use any black and I'm just popping this in the crease. Now this took a lot of work and a lot of blending because it just didn't want to blend at all. So I'm slowly showing you the progression here in this video as best as I can. I didn't want to put the whole process of blending because it was like almost three minutes worth for one eye. I was having so much trouble with this look. No joke, this was the third time I filmed it, this <laughs> look, because I was having so many issues. And again, like I was just saying, I was sick when I filmed this, so I was just fed up at the point, but I really like how it came out. In the end, it's my only Halloween look that I'm doing. So yeah, so now I'm just taking a clean blending brush and just blending out that black shade the best of my ability. Now I'm taking my NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer and I'm using a little eyeshadow brush just to cut my crease. I try to keep in as much as the, of this part as I could. To show you guys how I cut my crease, I like to just put the concealer on my lid and then kind of blink a couple times to get it to where I want it. After you do your cut creases a couple of times, you kind of figure out where it works best on your eyes. So I just would say keep practicing your cut creases and you'll figure out what works best for you after a while. Now going back into the Born to Run palette, I'm taking Baja, which is a matte orange shade and I'm putting that down where I put the concealer. This shade was a pain in the neck. It was very patchy and very hard to work with. But if you just go in a little bit at a time, it works. It comes together eventually. I really liked this color though. It's a great color for the crease. For the lid, it was okay. It wasn't my favorite for the lid. I should have gone in with Accelerate, which was like a shimmery orange shade next to it, but I wanted this to be all matte. I don't know why. Next time I'm going back in with Fashionista, and I'm taking that on my ABH brush that comes in with the Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm just going in and popping it in the crease, and then I'm still sketching out that crease. I really wanted it to be darker because a lot of it did fade away, the black, and I'm just blending it out again. Like I said, this look required a lot of blending. It took a really, this tutorial took me probably an, over an hour to film and my tutorials never take me that long. So like I said, I was getting very frustrated while filming this. <laughs> So now I'm just going in with some washi because I'm about to do a wing. I'm just lining it up with the bottom of my lid, my eye, and my eyebrow. And I'm going in with my Physician's Formula 2-in-1 Lash Serum Booster Eyeliner thing. All the names of everything will be listed down below. This eyeliner just has the longest name in the world. <laughs> And I'm just doing my wing as best as I can. I really wish I had falsies for this look. I just don't. And like I said, I just I was not feeling false to do falsies, but I think this look would look really, really good with falsies. So good with falsies. I did a really dramatic wing. 
and now I'm taking off the tape and my wing came out okay it's not perfect but I was just like I said so over it because I had to do this 15 times <laughs> so now I'm just going to finish off the rest of my face off camera and this is where the camera got weird so now I'm going with fashionista again and I'm putting this on the lower lash line with a pencil brush from Sonia Kashuk And now I'm going back in with Riff, and I'm just putting that along the lower lash line as well to really smoke out this look, because I want it to be like really smoky and dramatic. And perfect for Halloween. This would be perfect if you want a look, kind of like Nikki Tutorial's Batwing look, like something like that. Now I'm just going in with a black eyeliner, and this is the Ulta Dual Ended Liner, and I'm popping this in the waterline. And now I'm going in with my mascaras. So first I'm just going to curl my lashes real quick and then I'm going in with my Maybelline The Falsies Push-Up Drama. And then I'm going to go in with The Falsies Push-Up Drama and put that on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Mega Volume Max Waterproof Mascara and pop that on top for some extra volume. I didn't use my eye primer that I would normally use, the L'Oreal one, just because I was taking this right off right after I was filming. So, next I'm going in with the NYX Liquid Suede in Stone Fox. So, I'm putting this down on my lips first. And when this dries down on me, it looks like a blue gray. In the tube, it looks gray, but it dries down to like a blue gray. I don't know why. And I don't have a black lipstick, and you could use eyeliner to do this, but you'll see what I'm doing in a second. The whole eyeliner thing skeeves me out because all my eyeliners have touched my eyes, and I'm just not feeling like putting used eyeliner near my lips. So I'm just filling in my lips with Stone Fox, which is a really, it's a, such a sick color. I love it. But like I said, it turns into like a blue on me. And I'm going in with Fashionista and an eyeshadow brush and just patting Fashionista on my lips until I get it to the desired black that I wanted and it looked so good. I loved how it turned out but like I said you can probably use eyeliner and it'd be so much easier and quicker to be doing that and then this but I love how it turned out and I hope you guys do too. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that red button down below to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all my social media. That's always linked down below in the description box. If you guys have any video suggestions on any videos you want to see next, please let me know in the comments down below. Or if you just want to leave a comment saying, hey, please do that too. And that is all I have to say. Have a great Halloween if you're doing anything. And... I'll see you in the next video. Bye.